We're going to talk a little bit about things you can do when you think about your tone and your sound on the instrument. If you're playing an electric guitar, you might be tempted to think that you can plug into a great amp or different pedals or use your tone knobs and the volume knobs to get any sound you want. But the truth is, is that the real sound comes from your hands. And I want to get a little more into detail about three things that will really help your sound. One is dynamics, one we call timbre or color, and the other one we call envelope. So we're going to start with dynamics. When we're talking about playing loud or soft or right in the middle and establishing clarity of those sounds, we're talking about weight on the instrument. A lot of people have this idea that you get louder by hitting the string harder, and that's not true. That's a different type of tone technique. But dynamics is all about weight on the string. So when you want a loud sound, you're going to depress the string more. So I'm pushing in with my thumb, and then I'll go. If I want a softer sound, I'll just push in a little less. The same is true with your pick. Push in more with more weight on the string. You'll get a louder sound. Less weight on the string gives you a quieter sound. If I want something in the middle, I use the middle amount of weight. So loud, middle, soft. The more you can practice that on open strings, with every scale you play, with everything that you improvise, you say to yourself, I'm going to play three notes in this pentatonic pattern. And I'm going to put them at about a five dynamic range. Now I'm going to play them at a 2 out of 10. Now I'm going to go all the way to the top, as loud as I can. And when you want a louder sound, you just push more into the string, like you're pushing the sound out, but nice and gentle. Being able to do that gives a lot of depth to your playing. The second thing is timbre, and that means color. So I'm getting what we call a normal sound, a kind of a warm sound playing over the sound hole, or if you played over the pickups on your electric guitar, that's what you get. If you want something really bright, you go way towards the bridge of your instrument, and you play there. As far as you can go to the bridge. And I'm going to do this with my pick now. You hear that metallic, bright sound? That's what you get there. If you play over the neck of your instrument, where the strings come over the neck, you get really warm sounds. I'll do it with my fingers. That kind of control, coupled with dynamics, can give you some really beautiful sounds, especially when you're improvising. It'll make everybody pull in and listen to you because they'll think, oh, that's so interesting what they're doing because it sounds unexpected. Envelope is kind of the most interesting one in a way because it's about the shape of the note. If I'm going to hit a note really hard, it means I'm going to attack it, and that's the speed that I move through the string. So if I want to play this G right here on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and I hit it, I move through the string really hard. <laughs> and fast. It gives you the shot of a note. If I move through slowly and I push through, you hear how the note becomes like a little ball and it comes out? This beautiful note that could connect to another one. So I could play G and then A. Or I could go And being able to control with my picking hand how fast I move through the string gives the note itself a pointy shape or a round shape. And that is a technique that I think is really cool. So here's your pointy shape. And here's your round shape. And it's all done with how slowly you move through the string after you play it with your pick. 
So those are the three things to really think about. Your dynamics, how much weight you use on the string, gives you your volume. Can you be consistent at a loud volume, at a medium volume, at a soft volume? Practice that with every scale you play and every time you practice your notes on the instrument. Timbre, experiment with playing really close to the bridge to get a metallic sound or over the neck to get a really warm sound and then over your pickups or your sound hole to get a full sound. And then envelope, how sharp is your note? How round is your note? A lot of things we're gonna get to later in the chorus, like sliding and hammering on and pulling off and muting, that also changes the envelope of the note, right? Changes its shape. And so it's going to get more and more your list of things will get longer of what you can do to a note to make it sound interesting. But this is what makes your improvisation sound really cool. And it's what grabs everyone's attention in your playing.